This is the future. This is the future. Morning, guys. So, um, I did a small search yesterday to see what kind of ideas I can have for videos. What can I do for some content while I'm busy with them? Um, projects because I was told by someone that my channel is too quiet is everything still happening is everything still fine and one of the things I, I read was that um, you can actually make a daily video like uh, what am I doing today uh, a how to real-time videos kind of thing people are nosy they say people are interested in seeing what you're doing every day um, I don't know if that's true um, I honestly don't know if this is even going to be anything worth watching but uh, I'm gonna shoot some stuff today and then we'll see how it goes okay so I am at work it is uh, 5.45 today at this moment I am at work and uh, well I'm just gonna show you guys what I'm gonna do today so I think I'm going to defrost a fridge so if you've never defrosted a fridge before or you want to know how to quickly defrost a fridge stay tuned okay guys so the morning is going to start off as usual we're going to inspect vehicles we're going to do the checklists we are going to do our fatigue management in the morning and we're going to do our safety talk topic and we are seeing some patients coming in for chronic management so we'll check them out and um, one of our vehicles is going into the maintenance workshop for the prop shaft. Apparently there's some bolts loose that they need to sort out for us. So that'll be our morning function and that will normally last between now, which is just after six, up to seven o'clock. So that'll be our work then for now. Checklist, safety talk topics and fatigue management. That's what we do at this time of the morning. Okay guys, here we are at the maintenance workshop. We uh, brought the bucky in uh, for a fitment of a new spotlight, yay, at last. And we are bringing the truck in. Um, they discovered missing and loose bolts on the prop shaft as well as a leaking seal on the diff. So they need to repair that. So I'm just going to go book the vehicles in now. And then otherwise, um, all my morning paperwork is done. Everything that I was supposed to sign and seal has been signed and sealed. And all that is completed. So. Um, We'll take it from there. This is just a quick screenshot of the big workshops and this is our maintenance workshop right here. Where all, the, where all the vehicles are standing. So unfortunately I cannot show you more due to legal aspects. You know, I cannot show you the company logos or show you exactly where I work because somebody might see this video and then be very angry with me for sharing company secrets and shit like that, you know. Okay guys. It is 8.43 and um, I've completed all my morning chores. All the paperwork has been sent, CDMs has been sent, fatigue management, all that paperwork that needs to be sent has been sent, the trucks is in, that was supposed to go in. So now we start the day. I uh, already checked all my emails. Um, now we just have to capture people for chronic disease management as they come in. And we're going to do the fridge just now. So they say, uh, a good rant video is also a good thing. People like to see other people complain. <laughs> I don't know if that's true. But here it goes. Maintenance workshop. What a bunch of assholes. Honestly. They've got this really mightier than thou attitude. You know? When you go in there and you tell them, listen, I've got a vehicle with the problem. They're like, don't tell me how to do my job. I'm the boss. You are nothing here. Don't tell me what, 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 what. And they've got this real ego attitude and that really pisses me off at one point I wanted to tell the guy you know what I'm also a qualified mechanic okay I know exactly what's going on so don't come with your attitude to me if I tell you a vehicle is not working I don't want any excuses I want the results and I want a plan of action don't come and give me a non bunch of fucking bullshit like I have to order this or I have to order that how can you not order a, a, a window switch in a year a year 
for fuck's sakes, man. We've got how many Mercedes agencies around this place? We've got like three or four. You want to tell me you can't get a fucking switch in a year? Fuck that, man. Don't come with your fucking cock attitude to me and, and, and pretend like you know everything. Okay, done. Defrosting a fridge. Step one, unpack the bloody thing. Switch it off, take it outside. Step two, get a lot of boiling water and put the boiling water in because the warm steam will defrost your fridge for you. I'll show you guys. You guys won't believe the crap that was in this fridge. That milk expired on the 15th of February. There's an onion, yogurt, a cup of something in it that might have been milk at one stage, and even some chakalaka that was left in there since March the 23rd. Look at how thick that block of ice is. And I wonder what is in that nice blue bag that you see there. And this is again one of those situations where if I don't do it, it's not going to get done. So after I boiled some nice boiling water, I poured it into four cups and I went to put it inside the fridge that was at this point standing outside, empty. It seems like this is a technique that not a, a lot of people know about. You usually use a one big bowl of boiling water, but I'm using a couple of cups, putting it under the ice, and then the warm steam will start to melt the ice. So let's close the door and give it like half an hour and see what we get. Slight change of plans. So somebody saw I put the cups in there and said, you know, the cups is not going to be enough to do what you want to do. Here's a bucket. So I first washed out the entire fridge inside and then I put a bucket full of boiling water in the fridge and as you can see it's nice and clean everything's been washed it really looks good so um, we'll leave the bucket now to do the job look how the ice is dripping off there already so let's give it another say half an hour to an hour and we'll change the water in between maybe two or three times while we wait for it to defrost in typical me fashion, I'm starting to get a little bit impatient. So <laughs> I'm going to see if I can take uh, the hammer and the screwdriver and just knock a bit more of this ice off. See if I can't help the process along. While it's working, you guys can see the ice is chipping off nicely. I just want to chip off most of it and try not to damage the, the panel. And then I'm going to use one more buck bucket of uh, warm water and see if I can melt the last pieces off. So uh, chipping it is working. Yeah, I got out a big, big chunks of ice. And now I'm just steaming it for the final time. This is for the last half an hour. Just to loosen this bottom one a bit more. And that will loosen up the rest in there. And you know what's in the packet? You're not going to believe me. A freaking raw fish. Somebody placed a raw bloody fish inside the fucking fridge. So, uh, yeah. And I just want to show you guys, if you chip with the... If you want to chip the ice off, don't chip too close to these veins because your gas is running in there. Um, just to prevent yourself from maybe damaging your fridge. Ah, I see it's coming loose. Right there. Nice. Okay, let's come back in another half an hour and then we're going to clean out the whole fridge. There we go guys, look at that. Only problem now is I've got a, <laughs> a block of ice that's still stuck on this uh, electrical cable. So I'm just going to get some boiling water again and just throw it on that piece to melt that and get this block to fall. Then I can dry off this entire fridge, put it back and then we can switch it on again. There we go guys, nice and clean and tidy. So defrosting, done. Okay guys, so uh, I went to fetch our buckies. Now, as you can see this bucky's got a, a main tank and a sub tank. Now the fuel gauge on this buck is broken. So the moment the sub tank needle starts dropping, I know that the main tank is empty. So I'm going to quickly refill both. So we've got uh, diesel here. And this is the cheapest diesel in the world. You know why? We are paying exactly zero, where is it? One rand. We're paying one rand per liter. It's like being back in 1975. This is fantastic. I just wish the rest of the country would follow suit. So there we go. A combined amount of 53 liters. 
that I threw in in both tanks. So the sub ta the main tank wasn't totally empty, but it was basically empty enough for the sub tank to start moving. So yeah, it's one of those things. And the excuse from Elvis shop is the buck is too old. We can't get a fuel gauge for you. What the fuck ever. And look at that. I just stopped in time back at the station with the vehicles and uh, then it started raining. Ah well, sure you guys can see. Nice! So I'm busy printing paperwork at the moment for our training. Um, we have to do PTOs as well as SOPs and in-house training every month. So I am busy um, printing the paperwork for that. Almost as fast as the rain came, the rain is gone again. Okay, so you guys know I'm working for two companies, right? I'm working for the client and then I'm working for the one who pays my salary. So we've got two different set of trainings we have to do every month. One month for the one company and one for the other company. So for my company, the one who pays my salary, we have to do training this month on, oh, let's see what we have. Electrocution, malaria, how to stop smoking, and contraception. So that is our main highlights for this week. Exciting! Then for the other client I have to do anaphylaxis and um, basic life support as well as, what was the other one? Basic pump operations for uh, water pumps. So that's all my training and SOPs I have to do for this month. So everything's printed now. I'm just going to finish up the attendance registers for them. So tomorrow we can just head in and do the training. Aye. Selecting a perfect background is so difficult because it doesn't matter where I stand. You can still see some of the stuff. Oh my word. Oh well, that's just safety officers up there at the back. There's nothing there of import. Anyway, the board is so outdated. When we did an order on Tuesday, we got a, a zero for an out, uh, outdated board. Sorry. You guys actually caught me on a, a quiet day today. Um, it's four o'clock in the afternoon now. The clinic personnel is leaving. They haven't left yet, but all the bosses are gone. Everyone is gone except we stay here till six. And uh, this is where I stop working in the day every day. I don't like to work after 4 because um, I've done enough during the day so 4 o'clock I just relax a little bit and then 5 o'clock I do all my stats and everything for the day and then we leave at 6. So I just quickly want to check out the car. I'm going to put my bag in my car and I'm going to see if the water level is right because um, the wife told me that it was uh, overheating a little bit yesterday. So let's quickly go check and see if the water levels is fine. I've printed all the paperwork for the test tomorrow but um, I still need to find something on anaphylaxis and basic life support. Maybe some pictures or something where they do CPR. Um, I'll see if I can get a CPR doll and we can maybe do some practicals tomorrow as well or we'll do that a bit later on. But most of the paperwork will be sorted out tomorrow. So yeah, let me quickly see what the water level is like. Turns out I needed to put a bit of water in, about 500 moles to one liter I think. But it uh, just goes to show that there is definitely a water leak on the head. But it's small enough not to be a problem, it has no uh, performance issues, no smoking, nothing like that. But it's a, a large enough problem that I have to check it every two weeks at least, or every week at least, just to make sure that the levels is all right um, we just hit 211,000 Ks on the car so I don't want to redo the whole head now I think I want to wait till I hit um, 300,000 Ks or until it totally breaks down then I will worry about that so yeah clinic is locked everyone left now it's just me and my partner until 6 so yeah it's uh, get all our stuff sorted for the rest of the day okay guys so it is uh, 17 45 almost uh, six o'clock 
my relief has finally arrived. I just completed all my other stuff, so I'm going home now. So if you guys enjoyed watching this video, give me a thumbs up and uh, subscribe to this channel. And remember to hit that bell icon so that you can get notified of any of my further uploads. And uh, yeah, for the next four days I'm going to be working day shifts. And this is basically what my work is about. It's coming in the morning, following the same routines, sending the same paperwork. It's very uh, mundane, very repetitive. And the only thing between the morning hustle and the afternoon is waiting for calls and waiting for any additional work that I'm supposed to do and doing whatever odds and ends there is for the day, like the fridge or cleaning vehicles or cleaning equipment or anything like that. But uh, like I said, for today you actually caught me on a, a slow day. Tomorrow we're just going to be through doing uh, training, doing some COVID-19 stock take and that will be that uh, for tomorrow. That's what's planned anyway. So yeah, if you want to see more of this kind of content about what am I doing, then let me know in the comments below. Till next time, cheers. If you like this video, then hit the subscribe button to join the Cripsonian family. Also, hit the bell icon so that you can get notified of any of my further uploads. Give me a thumbs up, it will really help out this channel. You can also go and visit my website at www.cripsonian.co.za where you will find hyperlinks on all the pages except for the main page. The main page will show you exactly what the channel is about. Then if you're interested to see what's happening on the podcast page, you can go to podcast. On the Cryptozone live page, you should find out the time slots of my next live stream and what we have planned for the evening. And then on the Cryptozone YouTube channel page, you can go and um, subscribe directly to the channel, see what videos have already been posted and see what new projects I'm working on. Also, you can go to contact and you can email me if you have any questions. So thanks very much for your support, guys. Until next time, cheers.